Hey, hey, it's Shell Anderson from Shell's Creative Corner and Shell Anderson Designs. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com. My website and online store are located at shellanderson.stampinup.net. I would like to thank you for joining me today. And we're going to have some fun with this month's paper pumpkin. Spoiler alert, if you have not received your kit yet and don't want it, don't want to know what's in it, don't watch this video. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly subscription. You can order it in one month, three months, six month, or 12 month subscriptions. And basically it's an all-inclusive kit that has everything you need to make the projects in the box. This month is cards. And I have made, there's two designs in this month's box. I have made these cards exactly as per the instructions in the box for this card. This one opens like so. I haven't completed the inside, of course. Cute little tree. It's all designed around family. This one is almost identical to the thing. I just changed up the ribbon. I put two pieces behind. And this is a Z fold. Today we're going to do an alternative. <clears throat> and I think I just put the stamp on the bottom of my box. Which, yep, I did. Those photopolymer stamps get stuck everywhere. So we're going to have a bit of fun today. We're going to change things up and we are going to see what we can create. Let me get a drink of coffee here and we will get started. Okay. <clears throat> I have chosen this envelope, this card base, one of the beautiful leaves with the embossed veining and two of the butterflies. I'm just going to set those aside. I also have the little pearls that come in the kit. I have chosen to use some, um, this is actually from Christmas time. It is shaded spruce with the gold stripe. I have a shaded spruce card base that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and the stamp set. First thing I'm going to do is, <clears throat> pardon me, bring in my paper trimmer, and we are going to cut this up. Now, this card is four and a quarter. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut this down to five and a quarter. And we're just going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to cut this down to four. And that is garbage. So now that will layer beautifully on our card front. And I have just had another idea. I'm actually gonna take this down to three and three quarters. Stamping on the fly again. <clears throat> now, oh, I'm gonna need that again. I'm gonna check my scrap bin here. Don't think I have any. So I am going to grab some crushed curry. First off, I'm going to cut this in half at five and a half. So I have a card base for later. And I'm going to cut this down to four by 
five and a quarter. All right, we should be done with our paper trimmer. <coughs> I'm going to have to bring that back in because somehow I have messed up. All right, so it's this piece. I am going to five, this should be three and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Now we got her right. This is my plan. We're going to layer this up like so. Only problem is I don't like the margins on that with the crushed curry. I think they're too wide. I'm going to cut it down an eighth of an inch. So this was four. We're going to go to three and seven eighths and this was five and a quarter we're going to go down to five and an eighth and I think those margins are going to look better I just want a little yeah that's better a little pop without a whole lot of In your face if you know what I mean okay so I brought in this ribbon I also brought in I found in my retired stash here I don't think I'm going to use that ribbon I think I'm going to go with this Baker's twine and I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that Baker's twine and we'll be using that. Now, my idea for this is I'm going to put that there and I'm going to use the greeting, I'm glad you're my family. And I just need to put the leaf on there so I know proper placement and my stamparatus is here we'll get this loaded up I'm sorry I gotta get my head in here for a second All right, I'm going to take that out of there. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm going to pull in a memento black ink pad and we're going to get this greeting. Stamped down. Okay, that looks good. Clean up our mess here. Stick that back on there and we can put that out of the way for now. And we're done with our Stamparatus. Okay. So while we're waiting for that ink to dry, I am just going to hopefully tie a knot. I'm all thumbs this morning. There we go. Paper snips. Should have closed my ribbon scissors, apparently. All right. There 
There we go. All right. So now we're just going to pop some adhesive on here. And we are going to glue this. down to the crushed curry. Give that a minute. And then we are going to glue the crushed curry panel to the card front. Bam. All right, now for our leaves. Don't drop it. That would be a hot mess. Coming together quickly. Now we have these little butterflies. I just bent them a little bit. To give it a little bit of dimension. Where do I want this one? I think right here. Maybe down here on the green, even. Yeah, no, maybe here. Okay. Now, to get into this little package and get a little bit of bling. Those are so pretty. I love the tiny pearls. Well, I'm going to chase this one around, apparently. Where do I want this guy? How about right there? All right. And there we have it. There's our paper pumpkin alternative. And of course, we're gonna need a liner on the inside of our card so we have a nice place to write. And we have beautiful coordinating envelope. There's our card. I hope you enjoyed our time today and come back soon. Bye-bye.